Hey team, Lieutenant General Scott Spellman here, 55th Chief of Engineers and Commanding General of the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. Honored to be uh, with the great team from the 36th Engineer Brigade uh, this week down here at uh, Fort Hood, Texas. And Danny, Colonel Danny Million, I'm going to start with you, the commander of our great 62nd Engineer Battalion. You've got a unique mission coming up here for the DSERF, right? And we are asking you to task organize a formation that is bringing in assets from across the country. Danny, how are you going about that? Sir, with deliberate planning and scheduled training, we have a glide path that's been vetted with our higher headquarters. We, our soldiers are ready. And although the mission is different and a little bit in that aspect of it is challenging, we think we're ready. Danny, you're doing a great job. And just stay out and please do not hesitate to ask the regiment for anything that you need. Hey, standing to my left is uh, Colonel Ken Cook, commander of our 20th Engineer Battalion. And Ken, um, we have this saying, we're modernizing our fleet, right? Modernizing our combat vehicles, but we're modernizing to a legacy uh, legacy set of uh, systems, the M2A3 Bradley. You just brought a new set of Bradleys into your formation. Some initial lessons learned from the team. How sir, that's going? Sir, big, big lesson learned is just the attitude, just the mindset. We right. moved from 113s, uh, and now that we have this better, more lethal platform, yeah. It's just the mindset of our soldiers, our company commanders. It's, okay, now we've moved from being probably a supporting role to, right. hey, we have more firepower to offer those uh, supporting BCTs. And that's, again, that's the mindset from your uh, echelon to uh, uh, Colonel Barbina's echelon all the way down to the echelon. So that's what we're pushing down. And we're changing mindset, sir, and it's, we're a better for you. Okay, thanks for all your leadership on this very important modernization effort that we have. And then the last but certainly not least, Colonel Anthony Barbina, Anthony, commander of our great 36th Engineer Brigade, two of your very talented uh, battalion commanders here. Anthony, we've asked you to not only build readiness uh, for the wide array of mission sets that the brigade has, but to also help us at, at the same time modernize the regiment. And that's uh, that's that's no sh no short task. How are you going about that here in the 36th Engineer Brigade? Well, sir, you see our you see our task force talk right here in the background. Like we're out here in the field training for this DSERF mission. We'll soon here shortly. But we're also working on the readiness of all the engineer battalions, 3,200 soldiers in the Rugged Brigade, working with legacy equipment. So we put a lot of initiatives, like the transformation, we put a lot of initiatives in repairing our older equipment, and we're trying to get after good training to get those things in place. And then on top of that, sir, the transformation task. This is an exciting time in the Rugged Brigade because we're bringing in Bradleys, we're transforming our equipment, we're building new multi-role bridging companies, we're changing stationing locations, and, uh, and I think this is just an exciting time to be in the Rugged Brigade and be in the regiment. So uh, it, it's been a blast, sir, and it, in any task you all give us from the regiment's perspective, we're gonna try and knock it out of the park so we can keep up with our counterparts, we can make this new Waypoint 2028 force right. a success, and we can support the penetration divisions that are in third corps. Well, 36th Engineer Brigade is certainly a very, very important part of the Army's modernization. So, Anthony, sir. I certainly want to thank you, Danny, sir. and Ken, for all of your leadership. I know we down here at Fort Hood, Texas, we say stay rugged. We also want to say we're certainly building strong.